I'm Daniel Berlant in the Cal Fire Information Center with the fire situation report for Saturday, August 29th, 2020. Overnight conditions continue to be somewhat favorable for firefighters as they made progress on a number of fronts. And I say the weather was somewhat because we are going to begin to see a warm and drying trend. Temperatures are going to continue to go up and the humidity overnight will not go up, which is always something that works in our favor. So firefighters, though, have been making progress over the past 24 hours. As you can see here from our statewide fire map, there is still a lot of fire activity across the state. In fact, just yesterday, crews responded to 83 new wildfires. Uh, most of those have been contained. However, uh, one down in Los Angeles County uh, did uh, grow, uh, though progress has been made and the forward spread of that fire stopped. Let's talk, though, about some of the progress. I'm going to go north to south uh, today. So starting uh, in uh, uh, Tehama County over here, the Tehama uh, Glen Complex, crews have been able to actually uh, increase our containment levels pretty well. In fact, uh, on uh, this fire uh, in Tehama County, uh, we're at 32% contained, just holding at about 55 thousand acres. This is that series of fires uh, just outside of Red Bluff here. You can see Red Bluff. In fact, on the Tehama fires uh, in the past 24 hours, we've increased by 2% in containment. So uh, slowly making progress there. Butte County, though, series of fires uh, throughout. Uh, and here we are seeing in all fires about 72% contained so far. Uh, the good news here is firefighters in the past 24 hours have increased containment by 9% percent, bringing the total containment now up to, uh, as I was mentioning, 72 percent containment. Again, this series of uh, multiple fires, dozen fires uh, around uh, the Chico area and the, the hills outside of uh, Chico. Uh, let's start in the North Bay uh, for the LNU Lightning Complex. This fire has now burned over 373,000 acres, so about 2,000 more acres uh, since yesterday at this point. The containment efforts are up. In fact, containment's up 6% since yesterday morning. There are still some evacuations, specifically in the Pope Valley area, just to the west of Lake Berryessa, continuing to see some activity on the eastern side of this fire. But uh, some evacuation warnings for Angwin and others in Napa County still remain in effect. So crews are still working hard on containment uh, on this fire. As of today, it is 41% contained. Uh, going into the East Bay for the SCU Lightning Complex, also progress being made there. This fire now 374,000 plus acres uh, since yesterday morning. 5% uh, increase in our containment efforts there. So again, still some really good progress there. CZU fire as of this morning, over 83,000 acres burned in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Today we're at 29% contained. That's a 3% increase from this time yesterday. So incrementally, every day we are continuing to see progress. And then we'll go down here uh, to uh, outside Salinas, just south of Salinas, the river fire. Uh, 48,000 acres have burned this fire, 73% contained. Uh, it's actually up 10% since yesterday at this point. So then if we go down to the Los Angeles uh, County area, that's where we had a new fire uh, ignite yesterday afternoon. This is the Johnson fire. It's burning just east of Isabella Lake in Los Angeles County. This is just east of the large uh, lake fire that had been uh, burning earlier in uh, the month here. The new fire, the Johnson fire, uh, now 275 acres. Uh, crews report 25% containment on this fire, so making progress. But again, it, that just one of uh, 83 new fires that ignited uh, just yesterday alone, so crews very busy there. There are about 10 lightning strikes that occurred out of those 10, only one uh, lightning sparked fire reported at this point. Crews have been able to uh, contain that fire. Let's talk a little bit about the weather. That's an important uh, change and shift that we're going to continue to see. As I mentioned, a warm and drying trend. We've been talking about this for the last couple days. Today's temperatures 94 degrees in Sacramento, 76 in Los Angeles, 97 in Fresno. But as we move into Sunday, you can see temperatures are starting to go up. Uh, and by the time we get into uh, September, which is only four days away now. Uh, we're going to hit 99 in Sacramento, 78 in Los Angeles, uh, 98 in Fresno, Tahoe, 84, 102 in Redding. So temperatures are on the rise. Humidity is low. As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, you typically at nighttime when it's cooler, humidity levels actually go up, meaning there's more moisture in the, ground, uh, in the air. That allows uh, fire activity typically to diminish 
and that's when firefighters are really able to make progress during uh, for containment efforts. However, what we are likely to see in some areas, especially in the higher elevations uh, above the marine layer, we could actually see a little recovery of the humidity, meaning uh, that it will not go up at night uh, like it usually does. So that could uh, make uh, fire activity overnight increased. So watching our temperatures uh, very closely. So again, hot by midweek. Here's Sacramento's temperature. You can see a slight increase uh, by Monday and Tuesday and then kind of uh, leveling out by Wednesday and 30 in Reading. Again, we're going to hit the highs uh, by the time we get into Tuesday. These are high temperatures, not like we saw when these fires uh, in the siege ignited uh, back on August 15th, but still uh, it is going to be warm. Now, uh, we are expected to see some thunderstorms possible along the eastern Sierra, especially in the afternoon, occasional lightning, uh, gusty winds uh, for uh, the next uh, day. So uh, watching this area closely. Now, the National Weather Service has issued a fire weather watch starting Sunday afternoon and going through Monday. This is for parts of Del Norte and Siskiyou counties. You can see we've zoomed in here. Uh, this is along the Six Rivers National Forest, uh, the Hoopa Valley Reservation area. This is above uh, 1,500 feet elevation. Uh, we're expecting in this area potentially by Sunday and into Monday to see some strong north winds with low humidity. So that could uh, increase our fire uh, risk in that area. We'll be monitoring uh, this area very closely uh, come the next couple of days. Now, air quality. We're going to likely see air quality to continue to be unhealthy in many areas. You can see, especially in the East Bay, uh, as well as really much of Northern California is going to be moderate to unhealthy. Uh, and so the smoke layer is going to continue. So as the Weather Service is uh, requesting and the air districts are recommending, uh, if you can, stay indoors this weekend. Uh, in many areas, the air quality just is not going to be very good. Well, that is the latest on the fire situation in California. We ask that this weekend that you do your part to prevent sparking a fire. You can learn more tips on how to do that at readyforwildfire.org. And of course, for the latest on these fires and new ones, uh, make sure to visit us at fire.ca.gov. That's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Daniel Berlant. Have a fire-safe weekend.